So what are you making, Rye Dog? Oh, I'm making some bread. We need a lot of eggs. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? The kids are back. Oh! Woo! Welcome to the Hope City Bake Off. And guess what? It's week four, and guys, I realized that I need a little patience because waiting until later for what you want now is a good thing. So right here, Ryan's making some bread. Oh but yeah. I'm gonna help him make some bread. It's gonna Let's be awesome. Let's go, this is gonna be Put good. You've flour. learned the lessons over the weeks. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. One the thing whole I bag? Did, I actually did watch this on YouTube. For bread, since you need the crust, the egg, yeah, you need all of it. Like, you, yeah, need, you need- throw it in. So we just- Yes. Okay. Put that in, all right. You know the bread, the bread's gonna good. take a while, okay? I feel good about this, yeah. It's gonna be a little while. All right, kids. So we're gonna go into some worship while we wait. So stand up and get ready to dance. to wait for all the things that I want Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long To get the things I want What I think I need But I know you know what's best for me I'm gonna live what I believe I'm gonna wait Cause I know you're still working I'm gonna have patience Cause it'll be worth it I'm gonna have faith I know you have a purpose That you're working it out I'm gonna hold up Slow down I'm gonna trust That you're working it out just around the corner. So this is what we're gonna do. We have some chocolate eggs and two toothpicks each. And we are gonna stab the egg with the toothpick and then eat it. No, we're going to unwrap yeah. the chocolate egg only using the toothpicks. Ooh, that's so kids, easy. if you have a chocolate egg in your house, go grab one, go grab two toothpicks, go grab something. You can try and unwrap it with us, but we're gonna see the first one you get. Okay, uh, where's, where's my timer? Okay, we're gonna start a minute timer. And whoever can unwrap the most in a minute, okay. you also have to eat yep. what you unwrap. Get it. Eat so what kids, you unwrap, yes, yep. yes, yep. of course. Yep. Okay, kids, if you got your eggs, tune in. If not, have some fun laughing at us. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. This is like, I feel like a doctor. I'm a surgeon. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 I got it. I'm snagging her. No! I lost it! Do I, I have to pick it back up? Yes, my of course. Fix? Oh my goodness. It's coming. 
Oh, yes, I got one! Mm. Hey, you use mm. your hands to eat it! No! Kids, you know that's not allowed. You have to stab it and then bring it up and... Okay, you have to start again. Start again. 23 it. seconds. 23 seconds. You're lucky you weren't disqualified. Okay. We're running out of eggs. Oh. That's really hard, isn't it? Eight seconds. Okay. Eight seconds. Okay. Eat it, finish it, put it in. Oh, work. Oh. Woo! Got it. I got it. Got Don't it. Don't you use your hand. No, no. Actually, you used your hand, so that makes it fair, and then I got it first, so I won. No, but that means if you used no, your hand, no, that I no, got two in my no, hand, and you got one. No, 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 no. All right, kids. You can decide who won, even though we all know it's. Um, well, guys, thank you for hanging out for game time with us. Right now, we are going to jump into our memory verse with Paula and Peyton. Hey! All right, we are coming back with a brand new memory verse. And it's quite fun. Are you guys ready? Jump up on your feet and do it with us. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Okay, we'll wait. We have to slow it down. So, here we go. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. I had so much fun doing that memory verse. You guys can find it in Psalms 27, 14. Kids, did you know that bread takes time to raise? You don't even have to put it in the oven, it's supposed to raise. It's, it's a weird. It's a weird concept. Okay. Anyway, we're, we're waiting. I'm, I'm patience is hard, man. It's still You're hard, but I'm learning it. Go. We're good there. It's okay. so close. We're around the corner. Okay, I got some energy, so that, that, means, that means wiggles and jiggles. Well, kids, get your wiggles and your jiggles out and sit down on your couch, your chair, whatever is sitting on the floor. Do what you want and tune into the So and So Zero with John and Brandon. Woo! Turn the crank for a tasty treat. Where's my tasty treat? Here you go. <sighs> Is this unbaked bread? Bake on 350 for 40 minutes. This is my tasty treat? Patience, Brandon. Patience. Everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. John, what is going on? Oh, Easter is next week. Pretty big day. I'll say. And I cannot wait to celebrate it. Oh, really? Yeah, just look at this chocolate bunny. He's just begging me to eat him. <laughs> I'm so chocolatey and delicious. Have just a nibble, please. Hey, I guess we could celebrate a week early. 
Okay. No, I'm good. I know. Um. Right. Who knew you didn't have to wait to celebrate Easter? Yeah. I, I mean, who says we can't celebrate other holidays early, too? Let's do it now! Yeah! Happy Arbor Day! Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Hey, can you put Dad on the phone? Hey, Dad, happy Father's Day! <laughs> you're welcome. Happy Canada Day, eh? Hey, bro! Happy Brother's Day! <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Independence Day! Yeah. Hey, Jeff! Happy Second Cousin Removed Day! It's a thing! <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Bastille Day! <laughs> oh, fromage! Hey, Sparky! Who's a good dog? Happy Dog's Day! <laughs> you're welcome. Can I get another hot dog? Sure, buddy. Happy, Happy Labor, Labor Day! Day. Trigger! Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Are you sure this is how you celebrate Boxing Day? Hmm? Oh. Three, two, one. Happy 2022! Oh man, six more weeks of winter. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, one more thing to celebrate. What's that? It's Bible story time with Kellen. Yes. Hey guys, whoa. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah, we just uh, celebrated a year's worth of holidays in three minutes. <laughs> That sounds exhausting. Yeah. I guess it kind of was. So I guess you've already done Palm Sunday then. Wait, that's today. How could we forget? Ah. Um, well, how about this? How about you celebrate by helping me tell the Bible story? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, here's a little puppet head theater. <laughs> Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Jesus told two of his disciples, Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you'll find a donkey tied there along with her colt. Uh -huh. Untie them and bring them to me. <gasps> if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. oh. You see, hundreds of years earlier, one of God's prophets, Zechariah, said the Messiah would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. That prophecy was about to come true. When the disciples went to Jerusalem, they found the donkey just like Jesus said. Oh, here it is. Uh, perfect. Come on, little guy. I'll just get you here. All right. Hey! Uh, what are you doing with my donkey? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, oh, what was I supposed to say? Uh, right. The Lord needs him. The Lord? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> well, please, by all means, take him away. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Come on, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, whoa. Slow, slow down. Whoa, here we go. So they took the donkey back to Jesus and placed their cloaks on the donkey for Jesus to sit on. Here you go. And here's one. Nathaniel, you got your cloak? And one more. <coughs> Jesus got on the donkey and headed to Jerusalem. When word spread that Jesus was coming, a crowd gathered and spread their cloaks all on the ground while others cut palm tree branches and spread them on the road. My cloak for ye, sir. Hosanna! It's the Messiah. He's coming. 
Who's Santa? He's getting closer. Here he comes. Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and he was greeted with cheers and shouts of hope and wonder. They wondered, could this be the Messiah that they had been promised all those years ago? Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. (laughs) The entire city was amazed at what was happening. Now, they weren't 100% sure that Jesus was the one that they'd been waiting for, but they still celebrated. It's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. The end. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Everyone was waiting for a savior. They think they have one, so they celebrate. Even though he's on the back of a donkey, they treat him as a king. Yeah, pretty incredible. But over the course of the week leading up to what we call Easter, there would be a lot of pain. Jesus, the man they thought was their king, would be arrested and sentenced to death. It was a roller coaster of emotion. So what happened after that? Well, I think a lot of us know what happened after that. And while we can still celebrate the hope the Easter story gives us today and every day, you'll have to wait to hear the rest of the story next week. Fair enough. Hey, thanks, Kellen. No, thank you guys. Later. See ya. Great story. I know. The people had been waiting so long for a savior, they must have been thrilled. I know, yeah, and and they still didn't know exactly who Jesus was. They didn't know the crazy, turn-your-world-upside-down miracle that was about to happen. So they still had to wait and wonder. Just like us sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. Reveal the question! What are you waiting for right now? John? Lunch! (laughs) After the show, buddy. Oh, right. But what else? Are you waiting for news about a test, uh, about whether or not your parents are going to have to move for work? Maybe you're waiting for God to answer a prayer. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Those are really thoughtful. Thanks. Thanks. Waiting for lunch is good. Yeah, lunch is good. Just know that whatever you're waiting for, you don't have to wait to celebrate all the good stuff. That's right. Right. You can celebrate all the holidays in one day. Let's do it. Oh, wait. We've already done the whole year. We haven't done next year. It's true. Talk about it with each other. What are you waiting for right now? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. To the future. Yeah. When did this tradition start? Uh, This starts in 2036. Oh, that's right. Apparently they hadn't invented tweezers. So close. (laughs) (laughs) I threw two and they both missed. Yes. This is fun. (laughs) (laughs) Hey kids, so, you know, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some people knew right away that he was special, like his mom and dad, Mary and Joseph. And some other people, as Jesus grew up, started to notice too that there was something really special about him. As Jesus grew older, some of the things that he would say and the way he would do things and how he would heal people, people started to gather and realized that right away he was special. And they believed that he was the Son of God. You know, the religious leaders at the time, as we had heard in our story today, they had studied the scriptures for years and years and years. And they were waiting and waiting and waiting for the Savior to come. But unfortunately, when he had come, they didn't recognize him. They didn't even notice that it was him. You know, they had their chance to celebrate with everybody else that the Savior was born, the Savior was here. But unfortunately, they lost their opportunity and they missed their chance to celebrate with everybody and rejoice. Kids, our bottom line today is you can celebrate even when 
you're waiting. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. You know, we might grow tired and you get impatient while we're waiting, right? But I'm going to tell you this, celebrate, get excited and celebrate. And you're thinking, why? Well, this is why. If you look closely in your life, you will see the blessings that God has put there. But you really have to look and then celebrate them. Celebrate all the blessings that God has given you in your life. You know, it's hard to believe that the religious leaders did not recognize Jesus, that they missed their opportunity to celebrate and to sit with him and learn from him and hear him. They missed out. Kids, here's the truth. God is always with you. He never leaves your side, ever. Even when you don't feel him, he is there and he's even closer to you when you don't feel him. Bottom line, you can celebrate even when you're waiting. So I know none of us like to wait, right? None of us, most of us are very impatient. And none of us like going through tough times and the hard times and problems and tough situations. None of us like going through any of that either. But it's in those tough times that God will strengthen us and make us strong in our faith to be able to work through those tough situations if we trust Him. But you have to trust God's plan. You have to trust what He's doing in your life. You know, things might not always look the way you think they're going to look. And you might not always understand how God is working everything out. And you might see it down the road, but you might not. But the whole point is that we trust God even when we don't understand. We trust Him when we can't see Him. We trust Him and believe that His plan is so great for us. You know, we have to choose to believe. That's what we have to do. We just have to choose to believe. And we have to choose to trust Him. You know, sometimes if I'm having a hard time understanding what God is doing in my life, I'll look back to some of the things that he has done, that I know he's brought me through, some of the hard times he's brought me through, and I remember, that's right, God was there. He was there for me then, and he's gonna be there for me now, when I am going through hard times. So I just wanna pray with you guys this morning. Father, we celebrate you this morning we worship you today. We thank you, Lord, that you sent Jesus to be our Savior, to guide us through the difficult times and the hard times in our life. Lord, we know that you have a plan greater for us than we could even imagine. Father, help us to be strong in our faith. Help us, God, to trust in you. For we know the plans you have for us are good. We love you, Jesus, and we praise you this morning. In Jesus' name, we all said, Amen. 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 All right, you guys, let's go into a time of worship and just celebrate 
his goodness. Kids, wasn't that an amazing morning? And guess what? This wraps up our week of the Bake Off. And if I'm being honest with you, I think this might have been the first time I baked in my life. And you know what? You've grown in the patience of it as we've been talking this whole month about patience. So kids, we encourage you, start baking with your parents. Learn how to bake, learn that patience. And also, I got a question for you, for you to end the month, and it's what are you waiting for right now? How are you practicing patience? So talk about that with a friend, with a family member, and hey, I'm actually gonna talk about it with Ryan now. And you know what? I know what we are waiting for. We've been waiting for it all day here today. Cookies! No, 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 no. Oh no, that no, was another week. No, that was another week. Hey! No, nope, that was another week, no. Squares? No, no, no. We've been the waiting new oven? No, for bread. The bread? bread. Oh yeah, yeah okay. bread. But funny thing about bread, kids, bread rises! Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so we got our bread here. So what do you do? This. You, you want, what kind of slice do you Just want? karate chop. Let right me cut. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Little pro tip before you go. You actually need to use a knife when you cut bread. So make sure you get your pair to help out. But because, you know, we don't have a knife, we're just gonna, we're just, you gonna, just gonna dig into it. Some bread. Kids, thank you so much for hanging out with us for this month as we've been talking about patience in our Bake Off. It's been so much fun. Make sure you stay tuned with all things Hope City Kids on our main Hope City Frederick hey, Facebook page. You know what we can do with this bread? Eat it. We can go feed some pigeons. You're right, we should go. Kids, okay, we we're gonna go. go feed some pigeons. We will see you next week.